hello to Mara here from Posh Cat Crafts. In today's video I'm going to show you another mini album that I've recently made. I made this uh, a couple of months ago now and um, I saw some stamps on a shopping channel that I fell in love with and I thought oh, I've got to have them. So I had this um, really bright paper so I thought oh, they would be brilliant with those stamps so of course I bought them and this is what I've made with them so far now these are stamps from polka doodles I think they are so um, you know if uh, you like them that's where I got them from I'm not getting paid uh, for mentioning her name it's just that uh, that's where I bought them from and I just wanted to show you what I've made with them so I've uh, got a little um, closure on this one, this is a metal one, it's like a buckle so you just sort of open it and close it, um, I don't know if you would call them like a suitcase um, closure, like that, and on the side I've just got a very small um, sort of uh, knob on there, a little handle. A draw handle on there and I've just put a bow on this is um, some lovely test tubes that uh, or test bottles that have uh, erupted I quite like them I've used Copics to colour and this one I think I've used dioxides to colour the tag there and I love these little buttons I don't know if you remember in, um, oh, I'm going back years and years, we used to have these, I don't even know what they were called now, I can't remember, if anybody can remember, please put uh, a comment down below. They, uh, you used to be able to stick them on the side of your, your sort of computer screen or, um, you know, on your mirror in your car and they were fluffy and they had like a little tail there that had some sort of message on, I can't remember what they were called. But anyway, if you can, please leave me a comment. So we open it up and again this could be for either a, a girl or a boy. Um, I think more girl I would think. You, um, But you know it is kind of unisex so it is um, really up to you. And I've used the, I've used this really cool card and it's all embossed. So this one has got like circles on. I thought this was brilliant for this type of album because uh, it looks sort of out of this worldy sort of moon uh, scapey type thing. So these are the ATCs um, that I've used here again. And um, on this one I've added some stamps that I've bought that uh, I've put a favourite photo so you can then put your photograph on there. So maybe it shows you different places where you can put them and there's some monster here, again I've used Copics to colour and then more little ATCs that are stuck in the top there and then this one opens out so let's say opens out so you've got extra space there in little file tabs that come out and then you open them out and this here is a a little open it out and it's like a little pocket that you open up and uh, it's another ATC. I think this I've used dioxides again. I may not have done. I think that maybe looks like paint. I think that might be paint I've used on there, but beautiful colours. Look how strong and vibrant them colours are. And they just really go so nice and well with uh, these type of um, this ribbon. And then there's another ATC where you can put some more journaling photographs and then this one here I've left kind of open so if you wanted to stick some memorabilia in there you could do now these are all closed with the magnetic snaps again and then you open up again I've used some of that uh, lovely background paper that I have uh, made and then this is a little magnetic tab again that you can open out and put some more pieces in like so I like that idea and then this one is just quite plain this side is uh, quite a plain side 
um, which you can just add some bits on. Again, you pull this out and in. And then this here, again, a little tab closure, so that keeps that bit shut, but you can open that out and then open that out. Then you've got um, some extra parts there. I like this where you can hide things, you know, just stick things into, you know, the top of your, you know, your artwork. It just is, uh, it's really clever. And then here is just again, it's just plain. It's nice to have some plain um, pages so that you can then add whatever you like to them. And then these ones, I've just got a pocket here with some more ATC tags. And then this one again is just very plain. So just to add bits and bobs there. I love this uh, paper clip here with the arrows. It just works so well with this album. And again, you just pull them out and there's the file tabs. And then we've got some more sort of tabs there. But, uh, and some more of these lovely paper clips. I love the arrows, they're brilliant. But this, uh, this, um, these stamps are just amazing. They really are. There's so much. There was so much fun to colour. So again, small ATCs that we'll pull out uh, for you to write on, and then some more uh, artwork there. These monsters are just beautiful. And again, some space on that one. The space there, quite plain. Some more. This beautiful um, card that I've got um, it was in Boston I think I got it from one of those cheap shops I don't know if it was Lorraine or it could have been the pound shop I can't really remember it was very cheap um, to buy I think it was like some like three pound for 24 um, 12 by 12 sheets so it was you know very inexpensive so again some more of the paper clips there and there's holding some more um, tags, some more of that beautiful artwork, the lovely stamps um, there. And then these ATCs, these just work really well with this type of album. And then I've used the same sort of closure again. This one says Out of This World, I really like that. And I think what I've done with that is I've embossed it uh, with clear embossing powder. Uh, so open that up like that and then that holds that and then I think what I've done with this one is I've embossed the whole of that circle so it's really shiny I thought that was quite clever and then we just go from the last page which is just some more and then you can put your favourite photo in there it says it's party time and then the closure I've just used some uh, very thick grey board which is the same as the album uh, if you would like me to show you how to make this album then please leave me a link in the description and uh, I can do a future video on it uh, but this the album th that uh, I've made this up with is the grey board I think was Um, 1,500 micrograms. I think that's um, GSM. I think that's how you um, we we do it in this country. So it is quite a thick board. Uh, if you can see there, I will have a look and I will put it in the links below exactly the the weight. Um, but yes, I I I cut the the back and the front to size, and then the also the spine. And then what I do is I cover them in a 12 by 12 paper so that you can't see the grey board so it's all covered. And then, you know, we just decorate it um, as we go along. And then that was the back and that was how I, I kind of just, I didn't attach the board, this um, part of the closure with the, the brads. They're just there for show. But um, I just used some very strong glue and um, it's kind of stuck and held so and then on the front I've just got a resin embellishment there and um, I've just used some crackle glaze for the top of my heart there okay. 
So that was just a very quick short video on uh, an album that I made in the past. If you've liked what you've seen, please give me a like, comment or subscribe. Uh, I would love it if you could become a subscriber uh, then you can keep up to date with all my videos that I make in the future. I have got quite a few videos planned so um, it would be lovely to have your company. If you uh, are on any of the social medias I'm actually on Facebook, Instagram or Pinterest so if you click some, one of the links down below uh, that will take you to your chosen social media site. With that said, I will uh, love and leave you. Until the next time, bye.